Hello everyone and welcome back to Luke's Outdoor Adventure. In my last video I started exploring a new spot in my local woods. This spot is really far out and to get here you need an e-bike or horses. There is no vehicle access. Luckily I have my hunting e-bike set up. I had set up one trail camera but I recently purchased 10 more trail cameras. Alright trail cameras have arrived. We got the Stealth Cam BT18. It's a pretty cheap trail camera but it's pretty affordable and it comes in a 9 pack here. So let's check them out. All right, I'm gonna start unpackaging them, labeling them and give them a try. All right, got the cameras all opened up, ready to go. Start running these cameras, looks awesome. Can't wait to see if we get on them. I'm gonna try to get out to the spot this weekend and get these cameras placed out. All right, it's been about a week since I was out here, going back to check my trail camera see how it's doing and now it looks like it might rain a little bit but we're gonna get out here a little bit try to get deeper in on the trail all right i'm back at my spot gonna check my trail camera all right it says we got 13 videos on the trail camera so i'm gonna take those back to the computer today check them out i have another trail camera i might put it in the same spot but i'm gonna go deeper in on the trail today see if maybe i find a different spot i want to put the camera up at all right it's officially raining I didn't bring any rain jacket or tarp. I think next time I'm gonna bring a tarp. Today, just gonna have to risk it. I might get soaked. Cause I got nothing. All right, I got as far as I could on the trail today before I'm running into some thick bush. Just gonna keep exploring this area. Saw some more deer tracks, fresh deer tracks. Coyote scat and a uh, nice little canyon beyond. Next time I come out here, I'll keep pushing. Try to get beyond the point that I was at. It's hard to get good footage here. After receiving my nine new trail cameras, I decided to head out to my spot to set up the new cameras. On the way out there, I noticed some cat prints, which I thought could be some dog tracks, but I noticed they weren't accompanied by any human footprint tracks. And the trail of tracks went on for about a quarter mile long. It had just rained the night before, so these tracks were fresh. You can see the comparison to the hand, and they were definitely some nice hefty tracks. So Luke is setting up a trail cam in hopes we can catch the cat walking up and down the road. All right, we got some cat prints. Also another reason I think these are cat prints is you can see the double print right here and then another print right here on top of each other. Cats like to walk in a line. So we're pretty certain these are mountain lion tracks. Let us know in the comments what you think these are. All right, we're out here placing some trail cameras. I just bushwhacked down the mountain through this canyon to the area I was trying to get to my first time being here. It's an awesome wide open canyon, tons of super mature oaks and sycamore trees. I got rivers on both sides. So I got a river over here and I got a rushing river over here. I'm gonna explore the area a little bit, find some good spots to place my trail camera, but it doesn't look like anyone's accessing this area. It looks like an old trail that no one uses anymore. Lucky for me, so. Gonna start scouting this area and see what kind of game's here, but tons of mature sycamore trees, tons of mature oak trees. Gonna try to find some sign and uh, get the cameras in a good location. I found this heavily trafficked game trail here. Looks like it could even be a deer bed by the matted down grass. And as I investigate more, I find a dried up turkey track in the dirt here. So this looked like a good area to catch some footage. So I put up my first trail camera here on this small tree. Exploring the area more, I find some more tracks in the dried up mud here. If you look up in the top of the tree here in the middle, it looks to be a large bird's nest. Here's a better look at the bird's nest at the top of the sycamore tree. So in hopes to catch something here, I decided to put another trail camera up on the tree here. I was having great luck finding all kinds of turkey tracks in the dried up sand throughout the creek beds and around the surrounding creeks. 
Anytime I'd find a heavily trafficked game trail or turkey tracks, I'd try to get up a trail camera on one of the trees nearby. This spot here was the mother load of all tracks. I found tons of tracks all around the sand here. Before heading out, I had to try some turkey hauling to see if I could get any calls back. All right, now I'm officially trekking back. Just forgot though, that it's gonna rain this weekend really hard. So we'll see how the trail cameras hold up. I'm not sure how waterproof they are. I heard mixed results on the reviews. So we'll see, we'll see how it does. About a week later, I headed back to the spot to check the cameras. Another rain the following night before. And I brought my shotgun this time because it was the start of turkey season. First trail camera retreat. We had some pretty bad rain and winds recently. So unfortunately this camera was knocked down upon finding it. Turns out it did have some footage on it before it fell down, which I'll show you guys at the end of the video. All right, I made it across the river. Insane water levels right now after the rains. As I was checking this camera, I noticed a hen turkey about 10 feet away from me. Just found an awesome camping spot down here underneath this oak. Really good spot, I'll have to camp here in the future. All right, so I just retrieved the kill cameras, put a few different ones out in some other spots. I already saw one hen this morning. Look at this. Definitely some animal activity here. Potential deer beds. But I'm exploring the other way up this canyon that I haven't explored yet. Just got back from exchanging up the trail cameras. We've got some new cameras set up. So my bike is looking a little beat up here. I got my backpack still strapped onto my back bucket here. And I got my gun strapped onto the front here with the bike pump. So we got everything we need in here for a day trip. All right, I'm gonna be reviewing my trail camera footage with you guys now. First things first to set the scene, this spot is not accessible by car and we're about seven miles into the wilderness here. This is an off trail hike. This is not a hiking trail that's popularly used. There is an old hiking trail here, but it was very overgrown and not accessed by anybody that I thought. To my surprise though, with the high water levels, I ended up catching a kayaker coming by one of my trail cameras. There's no way he hiked into this kayak, so he must have came from upstream. On my camera that had fallen down, I actually got these two shots before the camera fell down. This looks like another kayaker to me because of his backpack and the gear that he has. It looks like he has some oars on the back of his backpack as well. Again, very surprising to me because we're about seven miles deep in the wilderness at an off trail location. But onto the animal footage that we got on the camera, we got the one turkey I believe that we saw out in the field. I got multiple shots of that turkey coming through on some of the game trails around the spot that I spotted it at. It seems to me that this hen might be broody or have a nest nearby because it's a lone hen. It's not with any toms. It must have been already bred for the season and it's hunkering down for a spot to nest or already has a nest in the local area. Unfortunately in my area during spring turkey season you can only shoot a tom so hopefully I can catch a tom on one of my cameras here. I'll be back out in a week or two to exchange the cameras and check the footage and I'm really excited to see if I can catch that mountain lion on the camera. I'll keep you guys posted as I track for animals, look for deer sign, turkey sign, and explore deeper onto that off trail canyon. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below. This is Luke's Outdoor Adventure signing out.